pre-AP algebra test 4.2 review. Okay, we're going to factor completely all these quadratics. <clears throat> now then, I'm going to do this the tubes more power way, okay? The first problem here, a squared minus 13a plus 40. First thing you do is you write down your factors of 40. 1 times 40, 2 times 20, 3 doesn't work, 4 times 10, and 5 times 8. So those are my factors of 40. <clears throat> Next step is to draw your two parentheses. I'll always drop this middle sign. This sign means we're going to add these up. If we add, the signs are going to be the same. So this is a minus. Now then, we want a set of these factors to add up and give us 13. And the 8 and the 5 works. Always put your largest factor first. So we're going to have a minus 8 and a minus 5. Remember, on a multiple choice test, it could be flipped around, right? Okay, so that one works. Number 2, write down your factors of 21. You only have two of them. Draw your parentheses. Drop the plus. This means the signs are the same. We're going to add. We want to add and get 10. Which one's add and gets 10? It's a 3 and the 7. Put the 7 first, the 3 last. In case you subtract, you want your largest number here. Okay, so we have a plus 7, a plus 3. Or you could have a plus 3 times a plus 7, right? <clears throat> the next one. <clears throat> Factors of 5 are just 1 and 5, aren't they? And we want to subtract and get 4. So these subtract and give us 4, don't they? Draw the two parentheses. Drop your middle sign. This signs mean we're going to subtract. If we subtract, the signs are different. Put your largest factor first. So the 5 goes here, the 1 goes here. You have M and M. If you do your full method, you'll do negative 5 plus 1, and you'll get a negative 4 M, won't you? Remember, you can also write these backwards. <clears throat> right here, the factors of 36 that add up to give us 15. Write down the factors. 2 times 18, 3 times 12, 4 times 9. <clears throat> 36 has 6 of them, That's one of the, or 5 of them. That's one of the most. Draw your parentheses. Your minus drops. This means we're going to add. They're going to be the same. We want to add and get 15. Which one of these adds up and gives us 15? It's the 3 and the 12 in it. So the 12 goes first, the 3 goes second, and we have X here, don't we? So that's the answer to that. And we'll go down to 5 and 6. <clears throat> 5 and 6 is a little bit different because we have a 10 here. So we have the factors of 6, or 1 times 6 and 2 times 3. We're going to draw our two parentheses. We're going to drop the minus. And this means we're going to subtract, so there's going to be plus. And now the factors of 10 are 1 and 10. Put two blanks to the right. And you can multiply 2 and 5, can't you? Put two blanks to the right. <clears throat> we want to subtract and get 7. So we're going to put these factors, either the 1 and 6 or the 2 and the 3, here and here, multiply across, and these two numbers have to subtract and give us 7. And the 2 and the 3 are going to work, aren't they? To subtract to give you 7, right? Subtract, get 7. No, it's going to be the 1 and the 6. So we're going to use the 1 and the 6 to subtract and get 7. So we're going to put the 6 by the 2 and the 1 by the 5. <clears throat> What's 2 times 6? It's 12 in it. 5 times 1 is 5. 12 minus 5 is 7 in it. So you circle the 12, you draw an arrow, and that 6 is important. Draw an X in here. The 6 is connected to the 5, the 1 is connected to the 2. So the 5X and 6 go in our first parentheses. The 2X and 1 go in the second. So we'll have 5X and 6, and we'll have 2X and 1. Now then, if you do your full, you'll get negative 12 plus 5, won't you, which is your negative 7 in. <clears throat> Let's go to this one. Our factors of 10 are 1 and 10 and 2 and 5. Draw your two parentheses. Drop the plus. This is minus. The signs are different, so we're going to subtract. We have two factors of 6. So write your 1 and 6. And you could do 2 and 3, can't you? Okay, so we have the 1 and the 6, the 2 and the 3. Now 
Now then, we're going to subtract and get 7. So how can we plug this in? Subtract and get 7. Uh, 1 and 10, 2 and 5, subtracting at 7, 10 and 6, 5 and 12. This is going to be it. So the 5 goes by the 1, and the 2 goes by the 6, doesn't it? What's 1 times 5? It's 5. And what's 6 times 2? It's 12. So 12 minus 5 is our 7, in it? Draw an X, circle the biggest 1, and put an arrow to the left. That 2 goes right here. So the 2 and the B go here. And the 6B and the 5 go here. 